Upon their initial assessment by the Galactic Council, humans were not regarded with much significance. They exhibited an average resilience to temperature extremes and a respectable strength. Weight ratio. Notably, their ascent to sentience in the space age as a non-apex predator species was somewhat remarkable. However, they were perceived as lacking honor, with the death of a single leader potentially igniting prolonged succession conflicts. While not the worst in the galaxy, humans were far from exemplary. The Taraxi were the first to see potential in exploiting human vulnerabilities. They bided their time, anticipating a catalyst that would plunge human civilization into widespread violence. Twenty-seven years post-recognition by the Council, the anticipated catalyst erupted into a devastating conflict that consumed the human race. The initial week's images of the conflict are haunting, showcasing a brutal lack of compassion and honor in the face of mass violence. As the human conflict waned, the Taraxi launched their invasion. Swarms of troops and battleships overran human territories, leading to massive casualties. The galaxy largely turned a blind eye, with some even aiding the Taraxi in exchange for control over human regions. Humanity teared on the brink of extinction. Contrary to expectations, humanity unified astonishingly, with long-standing animosities dissolving rapidly. This newfound unity halted the Taraxi's advance, which had swiftly claimed significant portions of human territory. Despite occupying nearly three-quarters of human regions within six weeks, the Taraxi could not advance further over the next eight months. This unity presented a formidable resistance, and two years into the conflict, the humans began to reclaim their territory. The Taraxi media rationalized this as a tactical retreat to inflict heavy human casualties. Nevertheless, once humans regained territory, they fortified it tenaciously, adhering to a strategy of entrenchment, as described by a colleague, embodying the principle of unwavering defense. Adopting the strategy of holding and fortifying reclaimed territories and then launching unexpected counteroffensives proved to be an unconventional yet highly effective military tactic for the humans against the Taraxi. Despite repeated assaults, the Taraxi found themselves consistently repelled and forced into retreat by these sudden human offensives. This approach, seemingly irrational, turned out to be a decisive factor in the conflict. Reluctantly, the Taraxi faced the reality of their diminishing control, marking a significant shift in a war that became the largest in five centuries of galactic history. Contrary to the Galactic Council's expectations, the cessation of hostilities did not occur with the recovery of human territories. Instead, driven by a desire for retribution and the eradication of the perceived threat, humans intensified their military actions, seeking vengeance for the atrocities committed by the Taraxi. In a dramatic turn, the Taraxi found themselves struggling for survival, prompting the Council to initiate emergency peace negotiations. Surprisingly, the humans consented to a ceasefire and participated in peace talks alongside the Taraxi and representatives from the nine Council races. The humans displayed a composed and rational demeanor during the negotiations, despite their refusal to directly engage with the Taraxi. As a member of the diplomatic team, I witnessed firsthand the hopeful progress towards peace. However, tensions escalated when the Turax demanded monetary compensation for any territories retained by humans post-treaty, a request that was met with stunned silence from the human delegates. The incredulous response from a human representative to this demand highlighted the profound disconnect between the parties' perspectives. The leader of the human delegation promised a response within the hour, leaving the room with the rest of the human representatives in a tense and unresolved atmosphere. The Council, optimistic about the progress of the negotiations, eagerly awaited the human response, anticipating a step towards peace. Exactly one hour later, a transmission from the human leader was received. Initially, there was only silence as the leader stared intently through the screen his expression enigmatic and unreadable, 
Impatient for clarity, a council member demanded the computer to identify the human's emotion. But before it could fully respond, the human leader interrupted. Addressing the council and turning specifically to the Taraxi representative with a disarming smile, he regretfully announced the impossibility of accepting the peace terms as proposed. In the midst of this tense announcement, a Taraxi soldier interrupted, reporting the alarming mobilization of human ships near the Taraxi homeworld. The screen split to reveal the human armada encircling the planet, a sight that silenced the room. The human leader's smile remained as he watched the Taraxi's shock and disbelief. Suddenly, the human fleet launched a devastating attack, eradicating centuries of Taraxi civilization and billions of lives in moments. The room fell into a deeper silence, the magnitude of the loss rendering even grief speechless. The human leader broke the silence, declaring their action a compromise for the lives lost in the conflict equating the death of 10 billion Taraxi to the 16 billion humans. His use of compromise was bitterly ironic, signaling a readiness for further negotiations, but under drastically changed circumstances. The outburst from a council member, accusing the humans of declaring war on the entire council, highlighted the gravity of their action. The human leader's response, still with a chilling smile, confirmed a deliberate provocation indicating a preparedness for a broader conflict. This stark turn of events underscored the complexity and depth of the animosities involved, challenging any simplistic notions of peace and highlighting the severe consequences of unresolved grievances in interstellar relations. Fourteen days have elapsed since the conclusion of the conflict between the Taraxi and humans, Mark not by treaties or ceasefires, but by the complete eradication of one side. In the aftermath, the Galactic Council found itself at war with humanity, prompting an unprecedented response. Four races defected from the Council. Disillusioned by the Council's failure to prevent the initial human casualties and the Taraxi aggression, opposition led and stifled by the Senai, these races had advocated for intervention at the conflict's outset. Their defection underscores a historic schism within the Council, the first instance of internal conflict in 570 years. Humans, in a mere 34 years, have disrupted centuries of interstellar traditions, cooperation, and understanding. Disturbed from these reflections by my new companion's jest, I was reminded of the lighter side of human nature. His casual demeanor as he toyed with a combat knife belied the gravity of our situation. Despite the backdrop of war, his humor and offer to share a quintessential human experience, cooking a steak, highlighted the absurd yet profound connections formed across cultures in the face of adversity. As members of the Anorak, entering conflict after nearly six centuries of peace, the prospect of war stirred a complex blend of anticipation and camaraderie. This interaction, though fleeting, captured the essence of humanity's paradoxical nature, capable of both profound destruction and deep bonds of friendship.